Well, I thought we, we really competed, and that was something that, you know, after the other night, um, the first half of the other night particularly, um, it was a you know, point of pride for our guys. And I thought, you know, the way we, particularly the way we started the game, you know, we were really aggressive, defended well, um, you know, and, and continued to do that throughout the game. How frustrating is it? Sorry, over here. How frustrating is is it in a game like this where you feel like you have all the momentum and you, you really did out outplay them for a majority, but maybe the whistles aren't necessarily going your way? Yeah, I think that that's where you know learning how to win on the road, and you know you got to play through those things. And I thought for the most part um, we did. There was a couple times um, in the game where we got a little distracted, whether it was a call or you know zone or switching pick and roll sometimes we kind of but we, we recovered from it pretty quickly I thought and uh, you know being able to kind of keep your focus during the course of the game when things aren't you know they made a lot of shots they shot 56 percent from three so seeing the ball, defending through a possession and seeing the ball go in you know that can knock you back a little bit as well I, I thought we were you know I was I was I thought we kept our composure throughout I know you learn, you know, a lot from games like this. You learn more after watching film, but just your initial reactions right now, like in that first quarter, you guys had 19 made field goals. It really felt like that extra pass was creating a lot of opportunities. Yeah, we were, you know, that that's some of what we've been working on and, and developing that mentality. It becomes harder to do that when teams start switching. You know, we're, we run a lot of pick and roll. When teams are switching to pick and roll, that's one of the reasons they do it. Um, or they went zone, for example. But I think that, you know, the key thing there is running off your defense and finding other ways to continue to move the ball in space. It just it gets harder. Um, but I, I thought, you know, we did trust each other a number of times. We, you know, we had some good clean looks too that just didn't go late. Um, and given the way they were shooting and um, the fact that they were getting to the line, you know, we could make some of those as well. I wanted to ask about Trey's continued um, hustle on defense. It just seems like he's buying. See that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it seems like he's buying so much more into that side of the ball as the season has gone on. I'm just curious what the message was when you came in for him yeah. on that side. Well, he's got a lot of pride. You know, and I think the thing that, that he and I have talked about is you know, using his quickness. You know, if you don't want to switch him on to Jimmy Butler, you don't want to switch a lot of people on to Jimmy Butler. But in Trey's case, you know, being able to to use his quickness to his advantage. And, you know, they're a hard team to play against. There's constant movement and all the handoffs. And, you know, all I thought DJ too, but there was a couple possessions there where we were working like crazy. One in particular, you know, got a couple stops and there was a couple long rebounds and ended up in a main three. So, um, you know, and we didn't, you know, we, we didn't, we didn't quit. You know, not that I would expect that, but in Trey's case, um, it's been a focal point for our whole team just to have you know, more of a presence on the ball, you know, to, to not be passive. And for him in particular, you know, it's something I know that he's focused on. And I thought you saw it tonight. Any other questions?